When his girlfriend is kidnapped by an aging supervillain, Noah and his roommate Cody must unite a team of unorthodox superpowered citizens to not only rescue the girl, but stop the villain's plans of world domination. In Nobody's Hero, the latest novel from your boy Crypto Comics and the Lost Library. Available right now in digital and print form on Amazon.com. Hello all you beautiful people in Webtown and welcome back to Image Comics Appreciation Month right here on Crypto Comics. Now I know right out of the shoot what all the Crypto Knights are wondering. Right now I know what you're thinking. You're saying to yourselves, Crypto, what's what's going on here, brother? You you just covered Deathblow earlier this week and, and in fact you covered that issue of Deathblow number one like two years ago, bro. What are you what are you doing? Are you confused? They're saying to themselves, Crypto's getting more confused than sleepy creepy President Brandon. No, 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 no. Crypto's not getting confused. Crypto knows exactly what he's doing. We're not talking about death blow today. We're talking about what was on that flip side, that cybernary issue number one, created and drawn by Nick Manabat. Uh, but, uh, you know, there was the error, the printing error. Yeah, they screwed this up, right? Big time. Big time. And I, uh, I talked about this a little bit in the uh, death blow number one review. But uh, we're going to hit it again here, baby. Still, I'm just fascinated by this cover art. I know you can see it. There you go. Yeah, baby. Yeah, look at that. That's him. That's the guy. We're not going to talk about him, though, because we've already talked about this. If you haven't seen it, dive into the back issue bins and check out Death Blow, issue number one. Because look at this. Look at what you're missing. Crypto Knights know what I'm talking about. All those fans of the Mighty Eye, they know what I'm talking about. My image heads love this stuff. But this isn't what we're talking about, you know? Believe it or not. Here we go. Boom, right here. Image Comics presents The Cybernary. This is a cult classic of a comic book, if there ever was one. Much beloved by a certain segment of the image heads out there, this early 90s dystopian cyberpunk story uh, has resonated with a lot of people. Not, not your boy Crypto. But I'm looking to find out what it's all about right now and explore it a little bit with each and every one of you newcomers out there who don't know what the cybernary is. But let me tell you, there are a lot of a lot of image fans who were collecting as kids back then, and they loved this comic. So here we go. This is uh this is brought to us by one of those fans. My main man in the comments section, Slapnuts McGurk. So thank him for that in the comments below, if you would. You just, uh, you just type down there, listen up, slap nuts. I really like the cybernary, too. He'll, he'll appreciate it. We'll get a nice conversation going here on Crypto Comics about uh, cyberpunk, maybe. Let's dive into it, shall we? As stated previously, the art is by Nick Manabat, with a script by Steve Gerber. The city, the nation, and the Asian Pacific Island on which they are located are all called Gamora. The warlords of the Gamora clan conquered these shores in 1543 and, by their first edict, banished all doubt as to their sovereignty. In that sense, little has changed here since the 16th century. The clan calls itself Gamora Industries now. It harvests technology rather than rice, but its will remains the law. HK-1 to control. We have Spoorlock. Initiate full sensorial scan. Maximum range and acuity. Sunseed irregular airflow pattern. Confirm 10 degrees south. Target is in motion. There! Aim to disable, not destroy. You know, must be retrieved in operational condition. Can we luber Louie before we send her back? Ew. Luber Louie. When was the last time you fellas out there lubed her Louie? Let me know in the comments below. Damp your organic responses. The unit's owner is Kaizen. Damping. Full cyber mode. Alert! Unit is turning to attack! Nympho droids seduce, not attack. Target unit has clearly suffered a major malfunction. Releasing Predator tech hounds. <laughs> These little guys right here. Oh! There it is. Beautiful image of Union by Mark Tex Mexia. Good friends with Joey Quesadilla. I don't know if that's actually true. I made that part up. I just want to put those names together for once. Your hounds can burn in hell, and you with them, and you, all of you. Oh, nice. Tough chick. Here she is, cybernetic chick. Here to kick butt. 
Losses approaching unacceptable levels. Increase fire. Locking on target. Firing. Direct hit. Scanning. Damage minimal. Neural net intact. HK1 to control. Unit survivability far exceeds model specifications. Can you confirm? Frank Miller, Sin City Collection. If you haven't read it, read it. Don't read it with kids. It's not for kids. Oh, Death Bowl number one, Ashcan? Hello. What, Cyber Force number three, signed by Mark Silvestri? Is it black and white? What's going on here? Man, all these limited edition comics, man. You, know, you like never see these come up anywhere for sale. It's really interesting, to be honest. It's all, I swear, it's like all being done privately, behind closed doors. eBay is irrelevant to the hardcore collectors out there. If you own any actual, like really, really rare comics, from Image, like this kind of limited stuff, limited to 3,000, limited to 500, limited to 2,000, limited to 5,000. Please tell me about that in the uh, comments below. I wish you could share a picture with me, but I'm only on Facebook, not on Twitter. Crypto Comics on Facebook, check it out. You know that because I mentioned it yesterday for that Max video. Don't bother, Control. He'll never hear the answer. <laughs> Hunter Killers. Ha! Can't even nab a runaway sex toy. Grenade at this range will terminate us both, bitch. Unit will drop it and surrender. The unit begs to differ. <laughs> HK4, what is your status? HK4, respond. Scotting, no signal. Stay back. HK4 has entered full organic mode. No closer, or we're all... <laughs> Yota Pak Dok Moya Yorum Ye HK Ne Dok No, she's not one of Kaizen's hunter killers. I'm not quite sure what she is. Let's take her below and see if she's salvageable. Me sad face. Two B Continued. And this was continued. You know what's interesting is Brandon Choi and Jim Lee come on here and say they're the co-creators in the story. Steve Gerber, the script. Nick Manabat, the art. Which I find suspect because Nick Manabat is attributed online as the creator of this comic book. So that's interesting. Hmm. Don't know. If you know the truth about Cybernary, tell me in the comments below. Now, this was continued in Death Blow issues 2, 3, and 4. And then something horrible happened. Nick Manabat died of Hodgkin's lymphoma when he was only 23 years old. A kid just getting his start in the world of comic books. Cut down in his youth. But his memory has lived forever in the minds of Image Comics fans who fell in love with these four short issues of Cybernary that were printed in the back of Death Blow. Now, interestingly enough, Steve Gerber did continue on telling the Cybernary tale in a five-issue miniseries released by Image Comics in 1995, after Nick passed away, as you can see, dedicated to Nick. And I did read this whole thing. <laughs> Super Nintendo. Oh my gosh. I didn't... I don't even know if I remember this game. I guess I don't. Wow, how did this slip by my radar? Crazy. Was this game awesome? Tell me in the comments below. I've asked more questions of the beautiful people in Webtown here today uh, than I ever have in any, any of my reviews. So, uh, good. I hope I get an answer to that. Was it awesome? Did it ever come out for the Genesis? I hope not, because Nintendo was so much better than Sega. So, you know, this is an interesting little uh, thing that happens here. It really changes when Jeff Rebner takes over on the pencils with Richard Friend handling the inks. And, uh, like, night and day, literally, one of these is... Uh, a pitch black comic book. 
and the other is uh, very colorful. And I don't even want to tell you the plot because, you know, honestly, like, this isn't the same. This is not the same. It, it wants to be the same. It tries to be the same, but it, it really can't be. I mean, I don't know how you compare this. I don't know why the artist chose to do this. And Steve Gerber has actually gone on the record and stated that uh, after the first couple of issues, he basically gave up. Um, he did complete, obviously, the five-issue miniseries. But without Nick Manabat, Nick Manabat uh, involved, it just wasn't the same. It didn't have the same look, the same feel. The guy whose brainchild it was, he was gone, and and it and it hadn't really gotten off the ground, and hadn't really been able to tell the story it was supposed to tell the way that they had envisioned it originally. And uh, yeah, Nick Manabat, long gone. That's so young. That's so young and so sad. Man, I was a kid then. Death Blow was released sporadically, so that means that the first four issues of Cybernary that were on the flip side were also released sporadically over the course of a couple years. It began being released in 1993, and unfortunately, because of Nick's battle with Hodgkin's lymphoma, his life was just cut short in 1995, and he was never able to really uh, produce a a full comic the way that they were probably intending to do. But he's not forgotten, you know, and that's pretty amazing that, you know, a kid who did the flip side book, this is this is really a testament to not only him and uh, his vision, but also to, to Jim Lee and all the guys from Image Comics, right? Like, this is just a flip book on the back of an Image comic from 1993. And uh, it is, I keep wanting to open it that way, dang it. Worst printing error in comics history. And this has just resonated with people all this time. It's pretty fascinating, actually, to me. And it definitely fits on the back side of uh, Death Blow. You know, it seems like it would have been perfect to be on the inside of Darker Image. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, that's where Death Blow got its start. You can check it out. Back issue bins, Image Comics playlist. Look for Darker Image. And, you know, sadly, this just... Obviously, this is not anywhere near what it should have been. This guy's a fine artist, don't get me wrong. He's very talented. But uh, this isn't it. Oh, Deathblow's going to show up. See, and this kind of tells you. this. Uh, so, you know, Nick's run on Deathblow went through uh, issue four. And this came out after Deathblow issue number 19. So that kind of tells you there. And unfortunately, I can see what Steve Gerber was talking about. This just doesn't compare to Nick Manabat's art. And uh, I can see why it's kind of faded from history. But I'm happy to tell you a little bit about what is Cybernary as we continue our journey into Image Comics Appreciation Month. Cybernary was a woman named Katrina, an experienced and ruthless mercenary in Gamora City, the capital of the island nation Gamora. She and her young partner Sisko were stealing an arms shipment when they were attacked by the cyborg soldiers called Hunter Killers. Katrina was ready to escape, but the hot-headed Sisko was apprehended. Against her better judgment, Katrina pursued her fallen friend, even to the point of following him to the noble house Kote Gamora, the stronghold of Gamora's ruling family. There she found Sisko being operated upon by Vandalia, Gamora's chief scientist. It was too late for her to save him, but Vandalia, intrigued by Katrina's spirit, made her an offer. If she put herself to his disposal, he would restore Sisko to his former life and humanity. Having no choice but to trust Vandalia's word, Katrina agreed. When we next saw Katrina, she was a nympho-droid, a cyborg programmed to pleasure the men of Gamora's upper class. But Cybernary was no ordinary nympho-droid. She had gone rogue and was able to outfight a pack of deadly hunter-killers, though the battle took her out as well. Kaizen Gamora, the ruler of the island, decided to call out the Minotaur, his top mercenary. Minotaur, along with his flunkies, Gila and Borgia, began to trace Cybernary's trail, but it was too late. Guggen and his scavengers had already found her and sold her to the Techno-Dwarves, 
the mysterious technicians whose lair is hidden deep below the streets of Gamora City. Monsieur Henry, the techno dwarf's curious leader, tried to mentally interface with Cybernary by hooking her mind to the most powerful chipworm, Delacourt. Cybernary's mind proved too strong, however, and though Delacourt was able to deduce some of her past, like the stuff in this synopsis, folks, his mind was fried by the ordeal. Which brings us to this mini-series. Keep reading these back pages, folks. Future issues will contain oodles of amazing information about Cybernary, her creators, and the outlaw island nation called Gamora, the most amazing place in the Wildstorm universe. Sincerely, Tom Harrington. Who are you, Tom Harrington? What do you do for a living? Other than write stuff in the back of comic books, huh? Think you're hot? Think you're a hot shot? I don't think so, Tom. Don't even know who you are, Tom. Some kind of a scam. Tom Harrington. Whatever. You're no Nick Manabat. And here we see the outlaw nation of Gamora, which is located right here below Japan. And you get a lot more information in this. If it's your type of thing, you know? Meat and metal. I mean, and it looks great. Is that the guy uh, who battled Hard Case in the first issue of Hard Case number one from the Ultraverse? I kind of think it might be him. Yep, I think it is. Yeah, this is cool looking, but again, this is not the same book, is it? It's it's just, it's stunningly different. Oh, we're going to find out who, oh, Tom Harrington, the editor. Okay, I guess that carries some weight. Okay. Hands down, the worst piece of shit I have ever seen in my life. Right here. So bad, I chose to not purchase it when I saw it available. Maybe this was the beginning of the end right here. I don't know. I just... I cannot believe they would make such a terrible, terrible misstep as to hire Tom Coker to draw this. Wow. Okay. Anyway, back to the awesomeness of Cybernary. There it is. A look at the evolution of a comic book spurred on by the untimely, the very untimely demise of its... Uh, artist, its creator, its lifeblood, its life force. Sucked dry. I believe DC did try to bring back Cybernary as part of the Wildstorm universe. They did a Cybernary 2.0. I think it was four issues over and out because this is not a comic. This is not a comic that should even exist, I don't think. This though, this is what the people love. And so that's what we're going to close on right here today. That beautiful cover by the one, the only, the late, great Nick Manabat. So let this be a lesson to each and every one of you kryptonites out there to hug the ones you love because you never know when it's time to go.